today we are making croissant loaf French toast. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the batter mix. Six whole eggs, two cups of whole milk, four tablespoons sugar. We're gonna whisk that. Add a pinch of salt. You want it to be smooth. We're gonna add our French toast. We want to make sure that the bread's slightly dry. This is a really good bread for this. It instantly soaks up our uh, mix. Let them hang out 25, 30 seconds each side. Our pastry chef came to us with a problem with an excess of croissanto, and they had been making this loaf, and they asked if we could do anything with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them, and let them hang out. Depending on how dry that your uh, bread is, um, you can soak it anywhere up to, I wanna say 15 to 20 minutes before you cook it. You wanna make sure that the egg mixture is completely soaked through or else you'll have a dry, uh, like bready middle and you don't want that with French toast. Uh, before we uh, cook it on the plancha, we lightly sprinkle the French toast with a little sugar so it'll caramelize. A little whole butter. press it a little. Kind of speeds up the cooking time and helps to caramelize the bottom. And then we just let that go until it gets nice and crispy on that side. All right, I'm gonna flip. That looks good. And then press that side. Another couple minutes. These guys are ready to come off. Just a couple pieces of French toast and strategically placed berries. Fresh from the farmer's market and Good old Canadian maple syrup. <laughs> Preferably warm. And that's croissant loaf French toast. Breakfast. Spot on. <laughs>